All right, me and Clayton have decided to brave this uh, July heat and uh, do a little bit of digging. So we've been reconstructing the hole this morning and uh, we've caved this top part, believe it or not, three or four foot back. And uh, he just pulled a uh, California fig syrup medicine right here out of the top layer. So we've got a couple hours of digging ahead of us before we get into the good stuff and a little bit more caving, but we'll get back with you when we get one showing. See crap on that, but Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. And if I can stop shaking. Yep. Missing the head. <laughs> it's pretty neat though. Just laying down there in the overburden that we're digging out. Either way, we'll keep going. Hoyt's 10 cents got a crack in it. Let's see if y'all can see that embossing a little better. There you go. That sucks, it's cracked. Oh well, we'll keep going. And a Frostilla which is some kind of fragrance, so some kind of perfume. All right, we'll keep going. Just dug this little can. It says, something sweet snuff. Sounds like it has some water in it now, but never found one of these cans that might be worth keeping and cleaning up. It's pretty neat. All right, we'll keep going. You know it's summertime in Alabama when you start wearing or, well, I say when we start wearing blisters because we're out of practice and it's that hot. I've already wore two blisters this morning. Hands are getting soft during the summertime. <laughs> Anyways, we're moving some dirt. We're getting on down there. We've got a couple more feet to go. And we ought to be in the good stuff. So we'll get back with y'all in just a few. Just uh, pulled out a Hires Household Extract. So that was root beer, root beer for home, for home use only. That's a pretty neat little bottle. We're still not at the bottom. We're working on it though. Well, we're back into soda territory faster than I thought. There is a Johannigan's. That's from Birmingham, isn't it? Yep. Birmingham, Alabama. All right. Well, we'll keep going. Check this out. What do we got? I don't know what that is. It's pretty neat looking though. That's a uh, decorative. I thought it had a broke handle on it. That's... No, that's decorative. Is that faces? Yeah, that's two faces. That's actually pretty neat. That's really neat. That's broken on the bottom, but. Wow. That's really cool. Let's see those faces. And that one. And that one. That's really neat. My flash on my camera is kind of making it where it's hard to see. Yeah. Can I see it? It's that's actually a really neat piece though. I wonder if you could look that mark up on the bottom. Oh, that's another one of those tough beavers. Is it? Yeah, that's a short squatty deco style. Ah. Uh, so, they're in here. Wow. I don't know, I'm impressed by this thing. Oh, I think it's pretty neat. It's really this is sitting in the mall. Alright, we'll keep going. Check out this platter piece that Clayton just pulled out. That's really neat, really neat. I could clean it up, get a maker's mark, and get an age off of it. I'm not sure. Just trying to go down right here and just see how far we are from the bottom. I'm thinking we're about a foot, but it looks like he's already a foot. It's probably at least two feet. Maybe, we're, maybe a foot and a half. It is miserable conditions for digging. I will tell you all that much. For the first time in a month and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. I've dug once without you, or twice, and the rest of the time I've been at the creek. That's rough, dude. It is burning up. All right, we're going to keep going. Okay, guys, I've got one showing. Let's see what it is if it's not broke. Try to do this one-handed. Let's see what she is. Come on. Be something good. It is a... Alicola. Now then, where are you from, Alicola? It is from Birmingham, Alabama. All right, well, we'll take that and we'll keep on going. So we're down here about, I don't know, eight or nine feet and we hit this and we're like, man, what is that? That looks like wood. Well, have you ever wondered how deep a telephone pole goes? <laughs> Well, this is your answer. I'm going to show y'all. Oh, if I can get out of here. This is a non-used telephone pole, so don't anybody freak out. 
it's not any use anymore. But that's the telephone pole. There's the dirt. And there's the bottom of it. So, <laughs> we're going to be limited in going in that direction unless we want to drop that telephone pole. We probably don't want to do that today. But <laughs> Maybe eventually, right? We're a lot closer to that tree right there than I thought, too. We're almost under that big tree. So, anyways, all right, well, we're going to keep going. All right, I've got two more showing. Let's pull this one. Yeah, it is a another alicola. It's a different variant. That one's actually a little harder to get. We'll take that one, put it next to the other one that I just dug, and there's something else sticking out right here. What is this? Whatever it is, it's cracked up. It may have been. Oh, I have to see if I can read what it says on it. It's pretty neat though. All right, we'll keep going. All right, we just made it to the bottom, which is where your older bottles lie. Uh, if you think about it, it makes sense. If that was ground level 120 years ago, you can see that kind of the clay line, then you kind of have a rust layer, then you got a little bit of an ash layer right there, a little bit more ash, and then you have a rust layer up here, then you got even more rust layer. Now if I back up and show it to you, you can see like over here you've got your your mule bones, uh, your bricks, your embossed medicines, they're all the way four foot off the bottom. But most of your sodas lie on the bottom. I don't know why they settle that way, it's just how it works. And up here is where like your barrels and drums and uh, chamber pots, all that kind of stuff settles in that rust layer. So from that layer right there up to the rust is about five feet and then above that is your topsoil layer which was filled in on top of it when the dump was completed so thankfully here there's not a clay layer that we have to dig through it's just incredibly deep so i don't know which one would be worse clay or depth what do you think clayton i'd say clay <laughs> uh, whatever we dug through two three feet of clay at the bakery was horrible yeah we, we dug solid clay and almost gave up and it uh finally we, we broke through it, and once we got through it, it was a little better. But just getting the bottles out of that stuff was ridiculous. So now that we're on bottom, we're going to start kind of raking that in that direction. And uh, that really good Coke bottle we found that was broke came out next to that telephone pole. So I'm thinking when they put that telephone pole in, that might have been what broke that bottle. Uh, so we're going to kind of avoid the telephone pole, if at all possible, and go away from it. Because obviously when they ran the auger down or whatever they did to put the pole in, everything around it's probably broke. So... We're going to stay on this side of it and go straight ahead. So we'll get back with you when we find something. All right, guys. Clayton has one showing down here. Right next to the top of the left of his shovel right there. Let's see what it is. Looks like it's got a nice aqua color to it. Uh, probably Deacon Brown. Probably a Deacon Brown. We will find out. Heard something pop. <laughs> Half of a Deacon Brown. All right, well, we'll keep going. Got a flask showing right here. We'll see if it's an unembossed one. Yeah, it is. Unembossed? It's kind of cool. It's got nice lines on it, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, we'll keep going. While I was messing with the drone, Clayton just pulled out a Singer sewing machine oil and a almost complete Sinalco. So we are definitely in a good seam right here. Just got to keep going until something pops out. All right, Clayton's got one showing. Be no, something. Broke on me. Be something good. Is it Pepsi? Deacon Brown. Another Deacon Brown. It's a Deacon Brown hole. All right, we'll keep going. Got a big med sticking out. Let's see what it is. Nope, I was wrong. Big salad dressing. All right, and I've got another one showing. Man, they're like back to back to back. Let's see what this one is. Oh, oh, it's broke. What was it? It was an Ozola. Crap. All right, we'll keep going. 
and now I've got a med showing. Let's see what it is. It is a Chamberlain's Med Company, and it's in good shape. All right, we're going to keep going in this direction. See that Vaseline stick out of there? Let's go ahead and pull it out. There we go. Little Vaseline jar. So all in that little pocket, all of this has came out. We're going to keep on going. Oh yeah, there was a little stopper that came out a while ago too. So, within a couple feet of each other, that's a good sign. And a Dr. Bell's Pine Tar Honey just came out. So man, it is loaded up. We'll keep on going. Just pulled out a uh, nice doll arm and I was cleaning the hole out and exposed another one. Let's see what this one is. Not yet. Let's see. It's hard to do one-handed. <laughs> I think I can get it. There we go. Broke free. Oh, oh man, it ain't a soda, but doesn't that look like one? Yeah, Alright, we'll keep going. What's it say? Yeah. Nothing slick. No. There's one like that from Birmingham. It's a neighbor's more than a It's kind of tough to find. He's got two sodas showing, guys. And a flask. And a flask. Kind of hurt. That's a thin one. That one might say something, but I don't know. Let's find out. Man, if I could keep these mosquitoes off of me. Good there's lord. A, there's a medicine neck. Ooh. Yeah, the mosquitoes suck, dude. I hope that was fireworks. Every video there's gunfire in that I've done here lately. That's the way it is. That's daily life. Say something cool. Nope, just paper label. Okay, paper label, flask. Now let's see what. That's a Jack Daniels. Please say Jack Daniels. Yeah, the Jack Daniels bottles from here in the Birmingham area go for what? Two grand? Possibly more than that. And then there's one that's Liam Motlow, which Liam Motlow was like the nephew of Jack Daniels or something. And he opened in Birmingham and operated in Birmingham. And his... Uh, say something good. Nope. Oh, slick. That's like... Looks like a Lady Pinkman's. Yeah, that's almost the exact bottle that that other one is. The Jack Daniels. But that's not, sadly. Okay. We're hoping for something other than an Alicola or a Deacon Brown. <laughs> and one of them's a base grip coat, and that's hold, but it's got oh, you see a base grip coat? Yeah, for sure. Then let it be from Aniston. Yeah, be from Talladega or Gadsden. Or Gadsden, yeah. Sorry, guys. If I'm shaking the camera, I'm beating the mosquitoes off of me. Hey, poison. Poison. Track corner. Track. Or one of those uh, little. Ooh. Nice. Come on. That's Birmingham. No, that's a CC company. Okay, CC company. Let's see that poison in that uh, Coca Cola now. Oh, no. I thought that was the Coca Cola. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was a CC company. I saw the C. Couldn't see anything else. So, this one. That one's. We'll see. Ooh. Uh, Alicola from Chattanooga. Chattanooga is it bottom or shoulder? All of them from Chattanooga, I think, are shoulder. Okay, all. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. Well, there's see two. Get that Let's see that poison. I'm more excited about that than I am the sodas. Yeah, that's one of those beef. Is it blue? It's the McCormick, yeah. Oh my god, dude, really? It's, yeah, it's that McCormick one with the bug on it that I dug. Dude, I've been trying to dig one of them. <laughs> Oh, uh, congratulations. That's a nice one. Uh, I want to take a look at that one a little closer here in just a second. All right, we're going to pause out till. No, let's not do that. I'll, I'll get it in just a second. Here's that poison that Clayton just dug and his other sodas down here that I wanted to show you all this McCormick and see the bug on it. It was a, it was a bee killer. And what's cool is you see down here on the bottom, most times it'll say patent and have a patent date. It says patent applied for. So it hadn't even been patented yet when this bottle was made. It's got a little bit of melt to it. Gave it some great color though. Beautiful bottle. Second one he's dug. I'm a little jealous. I haven't dug one of these. 
I've been wanting to get one. Very neat bottle. So we'll keep going. I think he's got a crown top showing down here too, right? It's so far back under the wall, it's in a bad spot. Oh, it's a jar? No, that other one was a jar, not a brick. Let's see what it is. Come on, come on. Alicola, Birmingham, shoulder script. That's Clear. Very strongly embossed one. Nice. All right, well, we'll keep going. Giving ourselves some room, doing a little bit of caving, and I just pulled out a National Remedy Company. It's a little different. We don't normally dig that one down here. All right, we'll keep going. All right, I think I got a bottle showing down here. It's so dark I can't tell. Let's see if I can just get it on the shovel. Yep, definitely a bottle. Let's see. Took some skill right there, guys. Better not be no slick. Yep, Raola. Dang. Yeah, Raola, Birmingham. That sounds about right, doesn't it? All right, we'll keep going. Well, what I mean is, I'm about to just grab it. It's already good to go. All right, got another one showing. Can't tell what it is. Let's see. Yeah, Pioneer bottling works. How about that? That's what we find in the creek. Now we found it in a dump. That's, cool. That's all right. We'll take it. Keep going. And another soda showing. Let's see what he's got this time. It's getting harder and harder to get to. What is it? It's the Cola Company, but it's the short aqua. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a rare son of a gun. Nice. What kind of values on those? I don't know. I've only seen one. <laughs> I haven't asked the guy what it was priced at. Holy crap, man. Yeah. That is awesome. That's a nice bottle, we just said you were going to find something good. I told you I was going to. I told you I felt it. <laughs> well, that made the hole worth it right there. All right. There's probably a couple more out there, but I'm saying I've seen one. Right. That's still cool as crap, though. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're in the middle of caving. We had a milk of magnesia fall out. A big crack. It is a cork top, though. Not worth keeping with the crack. Had a nice ink come out. SYC, I guess. That's a neat one. We'll keep that one. And a creepy doll head. Always lovely to find. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so we're going to keep on caving in. Oh, yeah, and a neat-looking tea kettle. Check that thing out. It's pretty neat. All right, we're going to keep going. All right, we're wrapping up our hunt. We've got everything from salmons to ink bottles to alicolas to the National Remedy, Pioneer Bottling Works. Uh, what was this one? Raolas. Uh, that Johannigan's I dug first thing this morning. That really weird pot with the faces on it. The Hires Root Beer Extract. I really do like that little ink. We come over here, here's that really, really rare Colico, the Squatty ver variant. We usually find the clear, slender, tall ones. So that, like you said, that's a really rare one. Also, really cool find was this McCormick Poison bottle. A couple more Colico, or Alicolas. We had a really good day, guys. Oh yeah. The Dunkin' Drugstore, or Dunkin', where did I get Dunkin' from? Walker's Drugstore, which is local as well. So, not a bad day. I'm a little out of breath because of how hot it is, but we had a good time. We're uh, going to cave everything in and uh, leave it for another day. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.